Hey, if you've ever wanted to stick to walls like Spider-Man or just completely defy the laws of physics by jumping in the air, then you've come to the right... Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and I'm about to show you how to do uh, the wall sliding and wall jumping as well as how to do double jump in Godot. Now keep in mind, your game is probably going to require something very specific. For example, in Celeste, they use a completely different button to hold onto the wall and slide and after a while they you know, just fall down and die. Another example is Brawlhalla in that game you can double jump three times and you stick to the wall by just holding the key towards the wall. And, well you don't actually stick, you kind of slide off and die eventually. Regardless, whatever your game is, you're going to require something very specific. I doubt there's going to be a tutorial that is perfect for whatever game you're making. So keep that in mind with this tutorial. You're going to need two variables. One is wall slide acceleration and the other one is max wall slide speed. If you are on a wall, then you're going to be falling at a slower speed than you would normally fall at, but it's going to be a constant speed rather than a constantly increasing speed like gravity. So first thing we have to do is detect when we are actually on a wall. If using a kinematic body, it's actually super easy. You can use the is on wall function and it will detect if you are in contact with a wall. So if you are touching a wall and you are either holding the right or left button, then you should wall slide. I decided that it worked a little bit better for me to only allow them to wall slide when they are falling. This function returns the smallest value between the two values that you put in there. So it's going to return whatever speed you're at if it's less than your max speed, but once it passes your max speed, then it's just going to return max speed. It's a great way to accelerate to a certain point. If you're on a wall and you're holding one of the buttons and you're falling, then Accelerate at the wall slide speed until you reach the maximum wall slide speed. Otherwise, just fall at normal speed. And if you're not even touching a wall or holding the buttons or anything, then also fall at normal speed as well. So that's the wall slide, but then you also want to be able to jump. And so that's what this part, that's what this part is. If you press the jump button and if you can jump, which it's been set to true, then jump. This is exactly the same as you normally had it but now we're gonna add a little bit of extra. This is going to detect which wall you're on. If you're, if you're on a wall and you're holding the right button or if you're on a wall and you're holding the left button, then it's going to shoot you away from the wall. I found that using the max speed that you can move at is a pretty good speed. It seems to look good anyway. Here too, I just have two variables. One is kind of a, a countdown. And the other one is where your countdown starts and I named them dub jumps and max dub jumps respectively. Um, but basically what you're doing is you set this to however many double jumps you want the player to be able to have. And then this little bit right here will be set to that number and then count down each time you double jump until it reaches zero and then you can no longer double jump. So you set it at the normal place that you would set your ability to jump anyway. So dub jumps equals max num dub jumps as well as here if you have wall sliding. And then when you hit the button jump and if you can jump then you'll do your normal jump but then once you're in the air you no longer can jump. If dub jumps is not equal to zero yet, as long as you still haven't counted down all the way, then you'll jump there as well. And each time you do, then reduce dub jumps by one. Eventually you'll hit zero and you won't be able to double jump anymore. If you think about it, it's kind of redundant. I think that you can take dub jumps and plug it into where can jump is but I didn't want to do that here because I didn't want it to be confusing. I, I wanted to just add code to what many people already have, but potentially you could just take this and put this here and of course change the true or false into uh, something equivalent to this. Ideally, this simple breakdown of both the double jump and the wall slide will be something that will benefit you as you create your own version of it. If you want to see something a little bit more substantial and a little bit more in depth, I definitely recommend Game Endeavor. Instead of using is on floor and is on wall, he's using Raycast to detect where things are. The goal here again was to provide you with 
the logic and to point out exactly what kind of steps you might need to take in order to create your own double jumping and your own wall sliding. I don't really intend for you to copy this exactly because the point of this is to simply help you create your own solutions by showing you how I came up with mine. So I, I would recommend watching as many videos as you can on the subject and then taking your own approach and coming up with your own solution. As far as my solution goes, Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope this was very helpful. Um, if you have any more requests for certain tutorials, let me know. I really don't know everything about Godot. I know little things and I know how to work through logic. So I'm happy to make little tutorials if you'd like. I do have a couple ideas for some interesting tutorials that will come later. It just takes time and man, life is busy. But thank you again for watching. I love you guys. You're all awesome. Have a beautiful day.